Today, we will discuss about the vertebral artery. The vertebral artery arises from the upper aspect of the first part of the subclavian artery, runs vertically upwards to enter the foramen transversarium of the transverse process of C6, then it passes through the foramen transversaria of the upper six cervical vertebrae. After emerging from the foramen transversarium of C1, it winds backwards around the lateral mass of the atlas and enters the cranial cavity through foramen magnum. In the cranial cavity, it unites with the vertebral artery of the opposite side at the lower border of the pons to form the basilar artery. The vertebral artery is divided into four parts. First part, or the V1, extends from the origin to foramen transversarium of C6 vertebra. Second part, or the V2, lies within the foramen transversaria of the upper six cervical vertebrae. Third part, noted with V3, or the suboccipital part, extends from the foramen transversarium of C1 vertebra to the foramen magnum of the skull. This part lies within the suboccipital triangle. And the last part, the fourth, the fourth part of the vertebral artery, or V4, extends from the foramen magnum to the lower border of the pons. Now we will discuss about the branches of the vertebral artery. The muscular branches. They arise from the first and third parts of the vertebral artery. Those from the first part supply deep muscles of the neck. And those from the third part or the suboccipital part supplies the muscles of the suboccipital triangle. The spinal branches. They arise from the second or the vertebral part and enter the vertebral canal through intervertebral foramina to supply the upper five or six cervical segments of the spinal cord. The cranial branches arise from the fourth part of the vertebral artery. And these are the anterior spinal artery, in which formation contributes both vertebral arteries. The posterior inferior cerebellar artery originates from the cranial part of the vertebral artery. From this artery, the posterior inferior cerebellar, usually arises the posterior spinal artery. Keep in mind that the posterior spinal artery may arise directly from the fourth part of the vertebral artery. And lastly, let's not forget that the fourth part of the vertebral artery also give rise to some meningeal and medullary branches. That's all for today. If this tutorial was useful for you, don't forget to like, share or subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.